Oh my gosh, I miss the game so much. I'm really ready for basketball to start. On October 1st of 2013, she turned 18. And Lauren Hill wanted there to be something special about an 18th birthday. And I was like, man, I gotta make a memory. Like on my birthday, I gotta make a good memory that I can go back and remember. And I decided that that was the night I was gonna call the coach and confirm that I was coming to the mount to play. Coming to the mount with no knowledge of the climb that was before her as she started her senior year at Lawrenceburg High. I wasn't keeping up with the other girls or my ball handling was sloppy, I was tired, but then I figured that maybe it was just because I was out of shape. We were lost, you know, as a coaching staff, we're, we're asking each other what, what's going on. This is not, this is not the Lauren Hill we knew. We were really dumbfounded. Vertigo, dizziness, then a collision with a teammate, a black eye and a numb tongue. Something's not right. Some Something's just, you know, I must have a concussion or something from this eye thing we need to be looked at. And that's when we took her into Children's. 49 days after her 18th birthday, an MRI revealed the brain tumor, DIPG, or diffused intrinsic pentene glioma. It's not a mass, it's a cancer with roots at the base of her brainstem with growing tentacles that weave through her nerves. Inoperable. The best hope doctors could offer was maybe two years to live. I got very weak, I kind of started to black out. I know Lisa got, got kind of sick and um, the beauty of typical Lauren, she sits up in bed and wants to know if she can still play basketball. The answer was yes, if you can do it through chemotherapy and radiation, so Lauren did. Not like she used to, but giving up wasn't an option which she shared with her high school teammates. She's like, you girls will not quit playing ball because I'm not there. She's like, I'll, you know, I'll come after you. That was, that was her message. She's like, if I'm not there and I can't be there, you girls better be out there playing and don't be feeling sorry for me. Never give up. Motto is never give up. Not that she ever did before, so I wouldn't yeah. imagine that it would change <laughs> it now. It hasn't changed much, but. But she's still never giving up. I never gave up for a second, even when they told me that you know, I have a terminal diagnosis and I never for a second thought about sitting down and like just not living life anymore. So for the last year, the Hills have lived life. Grand Canyon, Niagara Falls, a make-a-wish trip to Hawaii. But mostly Lauren likes her time at home with brother Nate, who's a junior at Lawrenceburg, and sister Erin, an eighth grader. Last month, another MRI. I knew in the back of my mind that it had grown. What did she say? Just, <laughs> there's nothing they really do say. Because <laughs> I can't do anything. Get your things in order was the message from the doctors. She won't make it past December. And not to Lauren, that meant she still had time. Time to make her dream come true. October 1st, 2014, her 19th birthday and a surprise party. After practice, her teammates gathered at the Mount. Lots of hugs, Hi, some Grandpa. tears, and a few presents. When I got home, I told my parents that I was gonna wear it around underneath all my clothes like it's a superhero uniform. <laughs> Cause it just reminds me of being strong. I'd like to stay as strong as I was back then. To watch her play now, it's obvious her game isn't like it was. And the days are slipping by. But she told her coach, one game? I want to play one college game. Well, the opener was scheduled for November 15th away, but Hiram College has agreed to come to the mount if the NCAA will make an exception. She's a special person. I mean, this girl's strong. She's, she's dealing with death, and all she keeps doing is putting everybody else first. She, she, thinking selfish at all. She's put her teammates first. She's, she's put her family first. And just to give her that one last wish would be incredible from our, our program and our players. I'm not scared of leaving, you know, not being wow. here. Because it's like, like, I won't be here, but the people I worry about are the people that I'm leaving behind. You got your hands tied, you just can't help her. There's just nothing you can do for her but be there. We all look up to her. I mean, she's smart, she's athletic. I hope I can be like her someday. I imagine that it's gonna be very hard. <laughs> 
she was a huge gift from God and if he takes her back then we'll have to deal with it but why we had her for 19 years she was ours see then the stars they burn some even fall to the earth we got in life to learn god knows we're worth it no i won't give up so i love the roar of the crowd and the bouncing of the balls and the squeaking of the shoes and people working hard and you know fighting and I just can't wait to be standing on this court in a basketball uniform with the number 22. Coming to the mount has never been such a bittersweet climb. 